Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ringing to episode 5 of Beastars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. the fine <laughs> well you know people gotta be extra and be like fuck up we gotta say this and this not not exaggerate everything like we normally do uh Egg sandwich sounds so good. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. So everybody is literally talking about you. Yes. Oh, who's Jack? Your friend? Brother? Or is that Jack? I'm guessing the dog is Jack. No, I mean, in a weird way. Legacy. I mean, you and Louise are kinda close. I don't know what y'all would call your friendship. Smack the shit out of him.
I mean, this is y'all can't put y'all phone down for five fucking seconds. Even though it's his face fucked up last week. You dropped your sandwich. Hmm. You know, Jack, I, I gotta love you. You're just such a good doggo. But uh, the, that three second, five second rule, that does not, like, work. a little shy though and that's okay got a ways to go <laughs> it's Haru. <laughs> If that is oh. when the dog go puppy. Seriously?
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit, boys. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe people just like dinosaurs. It's okay. I don't really like dinosaurs. But... Oh. You know what that kind of is? You know that um in Paris the uh the lock bridge the lock key bridge and stuff oh my god that's so romantic I can't <laughs> that thing can be tied forever what's your favorite panda oh my god so cute. Uh, hey, Legacy, if you're gonna go see Haru, uh, I wouldn't do it now because technically we use this with Haru and you don't want to make this awkward. Uh, no, you're by yourself. And smack. Oh! Bitch. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I thought it would be Legacy and not these three bitches. I mean, I do want Haru to kind of kick this girl's ass, but... Don't you have anyone else to bother? What are you talking about? That is true. Legacy, right? Turn around. <laughs> okay, number one, just calm down. It's okay. Yes, they were. She's fine. Yes, she remembers you. Just breathe. You're fine. 
Take a deep breath. Exhale. And just talk. Okay, get, get the flower as a peace offering. There you go. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. You technically really didn't sleep with him yet. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Things gonna be a little bit weird to see them together. <laughs> relax, relax, it's okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, because, you know, she doesn't know your name. So you just straight up say what your name is and then bam. Yeah, but you found someone else to sleep with. You get scared. <laughs> That's just your natural urges. It happens. That's just the stereotype on a wolf and the stereotype on a rabbit, you know. Same big things, you're like, hey, fight or flight. <laughs> Nah, Hara, you can't really do anything to fix that. Mm -hmm. Huh. I can see. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like you're looking into each other's soul. Oh my god, I can't. It's so fucking cute. There you go. Oh my god, Jesus, that was too fucking cute. Oh my god. Rapsalia, you have nothing on legacy, baby. I'm sorry. Yes, my little raccoon dog wagging in there like ah <laughs> Bubba the love a puppy. Love puppy. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so freaking happy. Finally, after like four goddamn weeks. Of them not knowing each other and their names. I mean, well, technically knowing each other, but not knowing their names. Like, no, know each other's names. Okay, but it's really hella awkward that, um, Louise is <laughs> sleeping with Haru. I don't know why, but every single time when I look at Louise, he kind of gives me a catchy vibe and stuff. Like, I shouldn't really like him. But in a way, I have a loving relationship with Louise. I, I think he's a very interesting character. But there are moments where I'm like, dude, you really just need to shut the fuck up. Like, honestly. Next thing you know, if I hear this dude say something about pancakes, I might get triggered and such. I don't know. But it was a very interesting episode. And I'm glad that they're bonding now. I just... I really want the Harley Quinn bunny and her two bitch of a friend to like literally stop bothering her but i think really after this episode since essentially legacy came in and somewhat saved the day i don't think she's gonna get bullied essentially anymore but uh, you never really know because honestly i was thinking when she was walking down the hallway it was gonna be legacy the one that she collided with not the three bitches of eastwick coming out of nowhere i'm just saying but <laughs> i mean yes haru does sleep around i don't like the fact that she does sleep around but there is a reason why she essentially does it and hopefully later on i mean because like you can tell with her body language and the way she's been acting ever since we've met her and you know somewhat her and legacy almost slept together you can see as i said last week that she's longing for something i don't think it's like a partnership it could be yeah like maybe partnership wanting to have control she could have daddy issues something like that but i think what's necessarily going to happen between these two it's gonna blossom into we're now at like um kind of like at a phase where they're, they're not friends they're just you know colleagues in a way and then eventually they're going to be friends and they're going to be really close friends to the point where they can both um essentially tell each other anything that they can or need to talk about because i feel like they're going to both essentially confine in one another in certain things possibly i'm not 100 percent sure because if she doesn't confine in legacy she might confine in louise but i feel like because of the fact that her and louise have officially now slept together as what it just said uh shown in this episode She's not really going to want to, like, give Legacy the time of day. I mean, not Legacy. Louise the time of day anymore. But I feel like, you know, th this is the one thing that's in the back of my mind. The fact that these two have now officially slept together. I feel like Louise is somewhat going to have, like, a freaking... <laughs> I'm going to laugh if this happens. <laughs> a crush on Haru because, you know, Haru... And stuff, and it's like, oh, like he felt something while they were sleeping with each other. I, I really don't know, but I feel like it's just gonna be a big old love triangle. She's gonna be in love with Legacy. Legacy is gonna have somewhat feelings towards Haru, while um, Louise is gonna be so infatuated in love with Haru, but Haru doesn't really want to reciprocate those feelings, and it's just gonna be awkward as fuck every single episode. 
possibly eventually to see these three all together. I, I really don't know how it's going to go, but I, I think it's going to be really good. It's just, there's going to be a point in time where I feel like Haru is just going to be like, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm done sleeping around with all these men. I want to move on from this. And I think she's going to confine in legacy when she eventually does that. Whether it happens in this, I think this 12, 13 episode series or it doesn't. I mean, I hope it, you know, I hope everything is amazing for her. She's a very interesting character and I hope she can grow and move on from this, but we ain't gonna know until later on. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 5 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially out <clears throat> next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys! Thank you.